Good morning, friends. Welcome to Kids Worship. My name is Becky, and I work with the elementary kids here at church. I'm so glad you're joining us this morning. This month, we are going to be learning all about how when we become friends with Jesus, we get to be his messengers in the world. So we get to join God's big story and share his love with everyone around us. This month, our word of wonder comes from 1 Peter 2.9, which says this, But God chose you to be his people. You are royal priests. You are a holy nation. You are God's special treasure. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day where we can come together and worship you. Help us to remember that we can share your love with the people around us and that you see each one of us as a special treasure. In your name, amen. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you. Oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore. Love will lead me through 
the Wondering Broadcast News. I'm your host, Allison. And today, we'll be meeting a man who might be the most unusual person on the entire planet. And he has started a unique zoo. Riley, our reporter, has been sent out to ask him a few questions. Riley, can you hear me? Yes, I'm standing beside a man who has to be the most unusual man on the planet. Well, I guess that's true. What I care about the most is God. He's the one that I obey. God told me to do something unusual because of all the sin happening in the world. Sin? Where do you think that came from? Well, it all started a long time ago. First, God made everything, and it was very good. He even made us, humans. I have that report right here. Yes, God made day and night, water and land, plants and animals. And the first people who He made in His image were named Adam and Eve. Yes. They were given everything they needed to have a wonderful life. But they chose to disobey God. That's how sin entered the world. Sin is any wrong thing that we do. It separates people from God. After Adam and Eve sinned, sin became a part of all people and all things in creation. This report here shows that sin has been on the rise ever since Adam and Eve's very first sin. How do you think that makes God feel? God became very sad and decided to wipe out all people. God, in His unending love and faithfulness, noticed one person who was obeying God and living right. That was you, Noah. God decided to save you. Please tell us more about that. That's right. God came to me and told me that He was going to destroy the sinful people. And He told me to build a giant boat. Giant boat, huh? Did you just guess at how big to make it? Actually, God told me the exact size. And I started building right away. It's called an ark an ark. Okay, why did God tell you to make it so big? I'll get to that part. God also told me to gather every kind of animal onto the ark, one male and one female of most of the animals. I was able to take seven pairs of other special animals. I made sure to do everything the Lord commanded me to do. Now the ark is done, the supplies and the animals are all inside, and I'm inside the ark because I think it's going to start raining very soon. We interrupt the interview with some very bizarre breaking news. Grant, what is happening with the weather? I can't believe it. Out of nowhere, a colossal rainstorm is forming. This is worse than any storm we've ever seen. God made it rain non-stop for 40 days and nights. The water rose and rose until it was 20 feet higher than any mountaintop. The water flooded the earth for 150 days. But God faithfully remembered Noah and the animals on the ark. He sent a wind over the earth and the waters began to go down. Eventually the ark came to rest on dry land. Riley is once again with Noah, who we regret calling strange. Clearly he was listening and following God. Riley, are you there? Noah, tell me, what was the first thing you did when you came out of the ark? Did you run around and roll in the grass? <laughs> Honestly, I was so thankful to God for saving me and my family that the first thing I did was build him an altar and worship him. He is the one who kept us safe through the flood. He is always faithful and does what he says he will do. Then, God told my family to have children so that there are many of you. Fill the earth. God put a rainbow in the sky and made a promise to never flood the earth again. The story of Noah is true. God was faithful to Noah through the flood. Every time you see a rainbow, you can remember how God saved Noah and God's promise. God is faithful and we can trust Him. He cares about how we live and He honors those who trust God, obey Him, and do what is right. I'm Allison with Wondering Broadcast News and you heard it here, God honors right living. That's all for today's segment, but remember, stay curious and filled with wonder.